I took this class because I'm actually really interested in acoustical engineering, so this is a pretty much a perfect course. I'm also a percussionist and we were designing percussion instruments, so it's kind of all of my interests combined. I guess I learned a lot about like eigen modes and eigenvalues and like especially on the chimes they add over there. The pitch it produces seriously depends on where you're holding it based on the different eigen modes, which is super interesting. It's a really cool way to kind of explore a lot of different materials and get a sense of them in a way that you normally wouldn't, you know, which is in a, in a musical sense. So it's using materials that we as like engineers use a lot. So a lot of the instruments are made with steel or aluminum or things like that. Um, but we kind of explored them in new ways, which is really interesting. I think of engineers as people who take all of that abstract, crazy ideas and put it to use. So for me, as an engineer, you don't like ponder, oh, wh what could this be? Like, hypothetically speaking, you actually like try to make it. So biggest takeaway I've learned is in order to accomplish a task, you really have to facilitate ideas because through, throughout this whole process, you know, my ideas changed and my biggest takeaway is Welcome, you know, change, welcome new ideas. You know, if someone wants to help or suggest something, it's not necessarily a bad thing because someone can see something from a different perspective that can essentially make your instrument or product much more efficient. I would definitely recommend it to other students because you don't have to be an engineer to take this course. You don't have to be a music major. As long as you're willing to learn and as long as you're willing to, um, you know, really challenge yourself, this course could be for anyone. <laughs>